This is Brother Lynn again. I'm back. This is the ninth week doing this, and we we back in uh, Brother Mike's office. He's not in the office right now, but I want to get this segment of our program out of the way. A power of a dollar. We got fifty. Matter of fact, this is fifty dollars here. And you know what I said? I said one billion, one trillion, one anything times one equal that number. That's a law. And then we, if we do times seven, times a billion, times a trillion, that's a law too. If we do whatever the number is, times one is going to be that number. So I, I was going to count this money out, but I'm not going to do it. And this is last week, but even though I'm going to continue to do it because my office folks in my office are still continually to do it, we're trying to prove a point here. We're trying to show you that a $1 a day, you can go in that office, you can buy You can buy some coffee, and then you, when they give you a dollar change, you can throw it back into a pail somewhere, and then you have that dollar. So we, this is 50 right here. That's $50. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, and 65 dollars. And I just kept adding on. And I know, you know, seven nine nine, whatever that day, whatever that number is, we know we got it here. One dollar a day. One dollar a day. And that's what we will continue to do, but I'm not gonna count it out. We're gonna come back in a few minutes because we wanna talk about a serious subject because of, of you know, somebody keep to ask me about what uh, the devil and what what is his tricks. So I'm gonna read a scripture, and then after we I read the scripture, we're gonna come back with Brother Mike and we're gonna discuss that scripture. So we'll be back in one second. Bye-bye.